Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be continuing on from a previous tutorial in which we created a really simple REST API that featured one HTTP endpoint in Go. As always, I'm going to leave a link to the full text version of this tutorial in the description below. So let's take a look at what we managed to achieve last time. If you can remember, we created a simple HTTP endpoint that returned a list of articles whenever we hit the slash articles API endpoint. Now, the standard library is adequate at providing everything you need to create your own simple REST API. But now that we've got the basic concepts down, I feel it's time to introduce a third party router package called Gorilla Mux. So in order to do that, we're going to have to append this to our list of imports. So github.com slash gorilla slash mux. Save that. And within our handle requests function, we're going to want to do the following. So my router mux.newrouter dot strict slash and we want to set this to true. Now, every instance that we've called http.handlefunk, we're going to want to replace http with my router, like so. And finally, we want to, in here, instead of passing nil, we want to pass in my router. So let's give this a shot. So go run main.go. And coming back into our browser, if we hit the same endpoint, you should see that the exact same results have been returned. So what's the big deal? Why have we used the Gorilla Mux router instead of the standard library? So thankfully the Gorilla Mux router lets us do things like specify what verbs we can use to access what endpoints in a far simpler fashion. So for example, for our slash articles endpoint, we could specify that we only want it to be accessible using a get request like so. Now, functionally speaking, this won't have any impact on our current program, but say we wanted to create an API endpoint that was only accessible over a POST request. Well, we could do so like this. Essentially, clone the line above it, and we just simply have to change the function that we reference or match against. So, test POST articles, and we need to also define this function. So again, it's going to take in a response writer object and a HTTP request. And just for simplicity's sake, we're going to simply do fmt.fprintf and test post endpoint worked. So now that we've got these two potentially conflicting API endpoints on the same path using two distinct HTTP verbs, it's time to test whether these verbs actually make a difference. So run your code or your API by calling go run main.go and then open up a REST client of your choice. So for the purpose of this article, I'll be using Postman, which is freely available through the Google Chrome App Store. And it essentially allows me to choose what HTTP verb I want to use and the URL I wish to hit and then things like the authorization, the header, the body, everything else that I need. Um, but for this very simple post request, all we need to do is hit the send button. And you should see that it returns a status 200, which means it's okay, and the body that we expected. Now, what happens when we switch this over to a get request, but keep the same URL? Well, you should see that by changing the HTTP verb, we essentially get two different responses. So essentially two different API locations were hit and the get request still returns our JSON array of articles. So hopefully this tutorial gives you some indication as to how you can create a really simple RESTful API using the Gorilla Mux router in Go. Now in theory, I could extend this further and create endpoints for updating and deleting articles and I could also extend this to also hook into something like a, a MySQL database and actually have real data behind all of my endpoints. Now, 
Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, then please feel free to support the channel by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for more programming tutorials. Cheers.